We're here with uh, the University of Alaska Anchorage head coach Ryan McCarthy and seniors Lauren Johnson uh, to his left and Tanae Valiva to his right. Um, coach, uh, they just kind of took a little lead on you in the fourth quarter, uh, first quarter and uh, it wasn't one big huge run but it just kind of seemed to accumulate a little bit. Um, let's talk about the flow of, of today's game, what you saw out there. You know, um, Western's a, a great team and, you know, we tip our hats to them. Um, they, they played well and they had some players uh, really show up for them in, in uh, Walling, um, Duff, and, and Dykstra. Um, we just, we had trouble at times just securing um, possessions uh, on the defensive end, just getting stops. And um, that's something we've really prided ourselves on this year and, you know, Credit to Western. I mean, we'd make a little bit of a run, and they'd come down and hit a big three, or we'd have some sort of, you know, defensive breakdown, and they they punish us for it. And then um, I think, you know, on, on our end of things, we just, uh, you know, we lose by 12 and miss 11 free throws. I mean, that's that's going to hurt you in the postseason. And, um, you know, in the arena, there can only be one team, and that's what makes March so special. Um, so I'm proud of our ladies, though. Um. Lauren, talk about um, what, um, you know, not necessarily today's game, but looking back on your two seasons at UAA and coming back, um, sticking with everything through COVID last year and not really playing. Um, talk about your experience, what it's meant to you to, to be a Seawolf. It's meant a lot to me to be a Seawolf. Um, you know, this program has a tradition of winning that's sometimes going to be difficult to upheld, but it's something that I signed up for. Um, but the thing that makes it all worth it is the family, the te my teammates. Um, so yeah, I have no regrets. Um, yeah. Tanae, um, you know, you started out um, lightly recruited, even just to say that, um, out of high school, um, local kid. Um, talk to me about, or talk to us about what, um, what you'll look back on most fondly about your career at UAA? Um, yeah, just the journey for me as a player and as a leader. I think I've grown a lot. I definitely think I'm leaving here um, the best version of myself. So I think that's the most important thing for a student athlete on their way out. And just the relationships I've built. You know, I know it doesn't end here with this current team and the coaches and even the alumni. So I'm just really grateful for those relationships. Coach, anything else um, kind of look back on this season and, um, you know, the, the positive memories that you'll take out of this group? Yeah, um, you know, we had a moment there where we got to thank the seniors for what they've given to the program. And it's not just, you know, it's really hard to not compartmentalize your career through your last season. You know, I mean, there's no other players in the GNAC that have played the amount of seasons they have that have the amount of wins and the amount of championships, the amount of postseasons, and it's not close. And so I'm very thankful and I'm very proud of, of these two because I know that they had some, some special goals this year. Um, and ultimately, uh, it was, we fell short of that today, but um, like what Tanae said, this doesn't end. You know, when you sign up at UAA, you sign up for your life, you know. Um, all the alumni support each other. We had a lot of alumni in the crowd today. Um, it, that just doesn't happen at, at regular places. And UAA is special. And, and these, the three seniors that we have, um, you know, they're special. And I hope that they're able to kind of pass along nuggets, you know, when they're done to the ladies that come through our program and, and that we're able to continue this, this tradition of family and um, representing the state of Alaska. Thank you. Congrats on a great season. Thank you.